Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another Boba Talks podcast. Before we get started, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It lets me know that you enjoy this kind of content and would like to see more. So, also comment down below if there's anyone in particular that comes to mind that you'd like me to get on the channel for an interview. I hope you enjoy. Today we have a very special guest. We have Knight Rider. He's a fellow content creator, and uh, yeah, you want to just go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, so. Yeah, I'm Knight Rider. I make sort of educational tutorials, gameplay kind of videos, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I forgot what rank are you? You're like top 101s, right? Like really close? Well, not right now. I mean, on PS4, yes. On PS4. Oh, but, okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So when I was on PC, I, I was able to get it quite frequently. Um, on PS4, it's a little bit harder, but um, I, still get, I still get to play against pros and, you know, get some good results as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Um, awesome. What about yourself? Uh, how, how do you find ranked? Oh, uh, I think I'm like mid 1500s right now. Like I'm like two games off from 16, maybe. That's I pretty solid. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm so bad at the game, dude. It's, it's honestly like you never really get over that. You always think you're bad at the game. The game is really hard. Like it I don't is, know. It's a hard game. It, it, I find I find it really hard. There's some players yeah. that just sometimes I just feel like. Like, what is my practice being for? Like, they just absolutely destroy me sometimes. No, absolutely. And it's like, yeah. it's so hard to get progress in this. Oh, so I guess let's just like preface the podcast. So, uh, hey guys, yeah, today, you know, I'm sure Knight Rider here has so much knowledge he could impart on us, but we're probably going to focus on talking about like YouTube content creation. So if anyone's here is interested in starting YouTube or just interested in like, I don't know, kind of like behind the scenes work, with YouTube right. and how it's been for us to make videos and stuff. So we're mostly going to be chatting about that today. It, I don't know. I, I really want to, I'm, I'm glad you came on. I really wanted to bring you on because it was like, yes, you and I have like very similar like subscriber count and like uh, view yeah, no, you, you, and you're, you're pulling further and further away from me. But, Is yeah. that true? I haven't I checked. Think, I looked at your channel. You're, you're on 1,270 or something I saw when I just checked it. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. either way, it's very similar. I think you're at like, almost 1200 or something, I think last I checked. Yeah, so I guess first question, how, how did you start, how did you get into making content and like like what inspired you to start? Right, so so honestly, I'm, I was the kind of person, um, I don't know if you can relate, but I always knew I wanted to make content. It's just that when I was a kid, so you had to get like an HD PVR and all of that. And I it was quite expensive and all of that. So I never really did it because I felt like I was good at games, you know, like FIFA, Call of Duty, those kind of games. Um, but yeah, then then I started playing Rocket League in uni, and I was like, if I get Grand Champ, I'm probably gonna make content because yeah, that's what I've always wanted to sort of do, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. How about yourself? Um, you know, yeah, I've always liked making content for games. It was I, I it always I never stuck with it though. I've always made like one or two videos per game. Like I had like two Overwatch videos, two videos of this one game, right? Ah, uh, okay. And this yeah. is like the first time I've really like stuck with it. I feel like Rock League is the kind of game that's just, you know, you, you kind of either get addicted or you never play it again. <laughs> it's that sort of game. Yeah, you know what? I, I had the game on release, right? But like, I played it for like two days and I didn't play it again. And it was... I think that's the thing. Like, that, yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Like, there'll be a lot of people that never come back to it. Mm -hmm. And nice drop. Uh, and and um, yeah, like, I just feel like you, there needs to be... Because I did the same things, kind of. Because on PS4, it was free for, like, the first month, I, I think. I think that's when I, I tried download... it. Yeah. Right, and I downloaded it, and I literally never played it again till like, the next year. And then I realized my friends were better than me, and that really got me to, you know... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this similar story. Because I started, <laughs> you know, uh, last year, April or March, right? Right. And my friends who got me in the game were, like, champ one range, right? So I'm just, like... And of course they're like making fun of like how bad I am, right? And I'm just like, okay, no, I gotta get good at this game. <laughs> yeah, no, that, literally, I'm like the most competitive person when it comes to my friends. <laughs> oh yeah, no, absolutely. Like, yeah. um, I'm, I'm like literally, I, I just have to be better than at least my friends. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel Anyone that. Else? Oh, nice yeah. shot. Thank you. So, oh, oh, this is an interesting question. I, I yeah. saw this on like. Cause I'm part of this like I'm from Houston, Texas, and uh, oh, right, okay. and yeah. I'm part of this like Houston YouTuber group, and they're like, "When okay. do you call yourself a YouTuber?" Like, see the like if someone <laughs> asked you if you're a YouTuber, like what do you, you know? I I would say no. 
I, I don't know. I feel, for me at least, like, I don't think I... I upload a, I used to upload a lot. Like, mm -hmm. literally, I used to do daily uploads and stuff. And I guess that, that kind of classifies, but... I don't know. Do you have to earn money, like, a lot of money from it, or... Um, you know. See, yeah, some people just say, like, oh, if you even do it as a hobby, you're a YouTuber. Or, like, if you're partnered, you're a YouTuber, right? And there's, like, all these classifications. And it's interesting because, like, I remember when I started, right? I was watching... I was watching some players and they had, right, yeah. I mean, they don't have a huge following, but if I met them in game, I would call them a YouTuber because I watched their like tutorials and stuff. Right, yeah. But then I I've, I've kind of passed them in where they were in sub count and yeah. I still wouldn't call myself a YouTuber. So it's, it's kind of weird. It's like a, <laughs> you know, it's. <laughs> I feel like it, I feel like it's become a term that's like, you have to be worthy of it. And I never feel worthy of anything. Same, same. I yeah, I absolutely like, agree. Yeah. Oh, so bad. And because the numbers are getting really crazy on YouTube, especially. Absolutely, um, yeah. I think like, with Broccoli getting more popular, especially, you have, like, yeah, people the, you know, going for, like, the millions right now. Yeah, of course, yeah. And, and have you seen a guy called Seabell recently? Yes, he oh, blew I, up. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I literally watched this video of his. I think I watched a few videos of his before, and then I saw this one video, which I... That made me subscribe uh, to mm -hmm. him. It was, um... It's, it's his most popular one, I think. I think everyone's seen that now. Uh, it was, like... The rank they deserve, or something like that. Yeah, so, yeah, so. where you play, um... No, absolutely, I feel like that's a lot of players, right? They... Oh, I'm gonna go with the main menu. Um... I feel like that's a lot of players. Oh, okay. a, a lot of YouTubers, where it's like, they have this one breakout video, and then... Right. Because you watch their one, and then you watch their other ones, and you're like, Oh, it's really good, but... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um... Okay, so getting into it, let's go to another question. So, this is why I'm also gonna be garbage, because I'm reading my other screen while we're playing. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, okay. What was the most like? Have you had like a surreal experience with like making content yet? Like, for example, like what? I... Yeah, this is, this bug is flying around me. It's really bothering me. But um, like for example, like what I said earlier, where like I've passed some people that I used to watch, even though like I don't have that many subscribers, but they were small channels as well, and it was like a very surreal experience for me, where I was just like, oh, um, I right. have more than so and so who I watched like their tutorials now, or even passing them in like rank you know like i'd be watching uh okay. yeah john sandman no not, not john sandman it was like a another smaller channel he had like 10k subscribers i think and he was like all right he has this tour like fast aerials for dummies or some shit and it was like I, I think at the time when he was making videos he was like diamond three champ one you know and i was okay. watching like all his tutorials and then you know when i passed him in in rank i was just like oh that's interesting. Yes. Or like, even when I started, like, um, I'm watching like the the older Sunless videos, and he, I, I mean, I don't think he's that high in his older videos. Like his. No, I, I feel I feel like he's he's got so much better now though. Oh yeah, but absolutely. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Because I I would actually compare myself to the F2 crew, um, in terms of my because my rank was always like near theirs, like literally. What mm -hmm. um, like I, I was like, I think when I was actually they were better than me for a while, obviously, because I think they played a bit longer, but um. Yeah, they, they would have like champ one and then I'd be champ one. I was like, every season they just kept growing with me and then, and then <laughs> I guess they didn't. I guess they stopped playing a bit more, right? Yeah, they yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. I actually don't know who the F F1 crew is. F2 Wait, crew is. you don't know who F2 is? No, who is Wait, that? Wait, you weren't around in the scene. You went around then, were you? Yeah, no, I've been playing a little over a year Wait. now. So anything older than that, I'm not oh gonna... Oh my god. So, so okay. So basically, do you know who Woofless, Neat Mike? And Neat, I don't Neat Mike, people? yes. Okay, so Woofless, Neat Mike, and John, they had a team called the F2. Mm -hmm. And um, they, they were basically like, do you know, like, Disunified and what's the other guy? What's the other team now? You, you might not even know this. <laughs> None of these words mean anything to me. I only know oh, okay. Neat Mike because he's, he's pretty popular. Do you, do you know, like, Musty, Left, and Sunless made that team? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, were so they like that? Were they, you know, made like a content creator team? Yeah, so essentially it's like that. I, I can't so remember bad. the name of it. But um, I can't remember the name of their team. Scuff Station, isn't it? Yeah, Scuff Station Gaming. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. So it's basically like that, but with John Sandman, Woofless, and um, Neat Mike. And yeah, they, they were just... It was more of a troll thing, because I think they were like diamond to champ range, all of their ranks. Sorry. Of course, yeah, yeah. But, but basically, I would. I, it was kind of like a nice moment when I was able to pass them. That's like probably my most surreal moment <laughs> in the game, I guess. <laughs> In terms of like actually gameplay, I guess when I play when I beat my first pro, it was well I was on PC, so it made it a little bit easier for me. But 
that was a really surreal moment. I was like, wow, I can actually do something with this game. If I can be a pro, then, you know. Yeah, no, that, that, I can't even imagine, because I'll play my friends who are like GC and ones, and it's just yeah. like, they mopped the floor with me, right? Like, <laughs> I'm sure if we yeah. played, it'd be like 30 0 or something horrible, so. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. There's a, that will happen. There's a big gap in ones, like. Yeah, ones, ones, there is. It's, one it's, it's different, right? Like the skill set and stuff, so. I so I think. I think the thing is, is right in ones you just can't really mess up. It, even even at like say diamond three, which by no means do I think is low, because I remember I started getting good when I was in diamond. Yeah, I'm like uh, diamond two, diamond three right now in ones. So yeah, that's, exactly. That's, where I, that's, I'm at. that's the kind of that's the kind of range where I feel like people start taking the game like really seriously. And um, I, actually, to be fair, I mean that more in twos, diamond in twos. Oh no, I meant that in ones. Cause like if you're yeah, if you're and diamond in ones, ones, actually like every person I meet, no, we no, good. sometimes I'll chat with them, right? And they're like, I'm like, what are you in twos? And they're like, oh, I'm GC or I'm like 15. I'm like, okay, so everyone I've basically met diamond two and ones has already been like the same rank, like oh, 1500s, God. you know? It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, yeah. it's kind of crazy how they scaled that, but. Yeah, it is, it is. Um... Yeah, they're trying to adjust the rankings a bit now, I guess. Yeah, so. no, I, 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 this is the first thing I got my title, and it's like I was like, I, I need to get it this season because if I don't, I don't know what they're changing GC to because they're, <laughs> they're redoing it, and I'm like, oh, this might be the last chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who knows, man? But, but yeah, like that, that's why I say like Diamond is actually because if because you know how like good Grand Champs are in just in twos and threes, mm -hmm. like they are really good players and. Um, yeah, Diamond 3 is like, that. I feel like you have to be at least Diamond 3 that around there to be a Grand Champion series of 3s. Um, oh, so, yeah, absolutely. Like, there's just yeah. like the raw skill you need. I mean, I I, I know some players, oh, sorry. I know some players no, who fine. are like lower in 1s, but especially if they focus on 3s. I think 3s is a different story because a lot of it comes from like good like cherry picking and, and stuff. So it's a oh, little different, like, but... Like in freeze, like I used to do so many rotor grand champs in freeze, and mm -hmm. I found that literally all I had to do was defend, and I'd win my games in freeze. Oh and man, that's it's of, crazy! Yeah, absolutely. Like, like just hold your boost, defend, and let your teammates do the work. And I felt like I was there was there was one season where literally, it was, and I had never got grand champ before. It was so weird. It was like a, actually that might be my like my most proudest moment. I don't know. It's weird because it's not that big of achievement now, but like. I had played 23 games in freeze, and I literally only lost four, and I got to grand champ immediately from being like, like pretty much champ free for I guess a whole season before, mm -hmm. and I just played freeze like defensively, and literally 23 games, and I got grand champ. I was like really proud of that. Um, it was weird. It was such a weird yeah, thing. yeah, for sure. So when Everything did you start making content? Ooh. Like, how good were you when you started? Making content. Oh, I, I, okay. So, I I made a few videos before, but not really. I wasn't really making that many videos before I was Grand Champ. But really, I thought I I thought it was best that because I was so worried about people calling me out. You know. Oh yeah. No. No. Absolutely. I mean, like. Wait. Did you leave the match? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, okay. I think it's just AI now. So. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. So I. I. Um. Uh. What was the question? When did I start making videos? Yeah, how good were you before you decided like, oh, I should right, make content? Right. So when I started properly uploading, I, I thought it was important for me to get Grand Champ at least because I wanted to make sort of educational um, sort of videos. But I honestly, now I'm reflecting on it, like it's actually not even important because there, I know there are so many good people with good minds that are like way lower ranked than Grand Champ. And like they can actually give some good insight because they watch esports and they sort of understand things. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think it's a requirement. I think if you want to make content you, and you think it can be helpful, um, do it. Because because even with tutorials, right? Like like um, that was bad. Uh, but even with tutorials, uh, I I um, I think like there's so many people that are better than me mechanically that aren't even Grand Champ. Like you can just think of Gainer and all of those guys, right? Oh yeah, no, uh, there's there's this. My buddy, who I did a air dribble tutorial with, he's insane. He can do, you know, one of those those crazies who can do like right. air dribble yeah, yeah, for like yeah. an hour and That's ten so flip steep. resets. I don't understand. And I'm just <laughs> like, what? What? He was, I was like, what rank are you? He's like, I'm diamond three. And I was like, why? He was like, yeah, like well, it I doesn't. He's like, it doesn't work when you don't have infinite boost. And I was like, all right, well, that's fair. <laughs> true, true. No, but I played with him, and, and you know, it, 
he, he's only not high rank because he rather spends time in free play, right? Like, which which I think is actually a really good thing to get high ranked. Like, oh yeah, the, it, practicing it, the mechanics is just it's it's so funny. Cool. Like you just th those freestyles are crazy. You just they just let, watch him get a hundred boosts, pass it to them on the wall, and then you can just put your controller down. They're gonna score. Yeah, like, exactly. Like no one's yeah. gonna stop like a flip reset. Stall, double touch, whatever. No, right? it's like, it's like if, <laughs> unless you challenge it at the first touch, like literally off the wall, the first time, unless you challenge it, then it's like, no, no chance. Especially when like the stall kind of looks like a mistake, right? Like, oh, he screwed up somewhere. Sometimes. Yeah, I, I know, I get that. I get like, that. Visually, I think, it's I think, tricky. I think obviously now that I've I've seen that stuff a little bit more, I mm -hmm. sort of can recognize, and plus I can sort of do like a few stalls myself. Oh yeah, no, I've um, seen some of your other mechanics videos for sure. Oh right, yeah, ex yeah, exactly. So, uh, since then, I can kind of understand what's happening a bit better for those things. But yeah, mm -hmm. for sure, if you've never seen that stuff before, you're like, what the hell? <laughs> like, when do I challenge? Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, so getting getting back on the uh, going back to talking about, you know, making content at a low rank. I actually right, started yeah. back when I was in platinum, low diamond, I think. Mm -hmm. Because right. So what I did was yeah. my idea was the like I wanted a channel where, um. They could watch you improve, I guess? Or... Not exactly. The idea behind it was like, sometimes... Okay, I actually got this idea from watching Squishy, which... Not to throw shade at Squishy, but when I was starting, his tutorials made no sense to me. I was just... <laughs> I was way too bad to even remotely comprehend or execute right. what he was, you know, explaining. Like, I would watch his videos and he would be like, oh, just hit the ball off blah 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 and i'm like that makes so much sense and then i go and do it and i, I can't do it <laughs> you yeah, know and really hard yeah 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 so i was like maybe i should make a channel where it's kind of like someone near your level that's kind of teaching you how to get better so then it's kind of like a peer thing right like it's like right. imagine in class yeah. like how often do you ask your classmates for help with homework instead of the teacher because the teacher's explaining from a level that's higher then they might not explain it you know, in layman's I, I, I get terms, what you, you know? mean. Like, yeah. if you get from, see, like, I, I always thought that I, I always thought like, okay, so I'm not really learning from watching Squishy play when I was like really low ranked. Although I, I did learn quite a lot from him actually, to be fair. But like, I thought his road. This is why I liked watching his road to Grand Champs a lot in the back in the day is because mm -hmm. I, I felt like if he's playing at that rank, I can kind of see how he's winning against these like like plats or diamonds or whatever the rank was at the time right um, right yeah I, i've been really then, liking rizzo's uh road to gc yeah he did it really nicely i, um, I liked how he limited his ability when he did it so. yeah that, that was really good that was really good and that's partly why i don't like doing like road to gc from from scratch anymore because mm -hmm. you know like it is really annoying i guess to get come into a smurf yeah and actually a, po a point on that is like uh, I don't. Probably out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you've seen much about like AI and stuff. If you if you know anything. Uh -uh. Or... All right. So basically, an AI won't. If you put an AI against like a a sort of player at the game that is a lot stronger, it won't learn anything. It will it it will just you know sit there and just you know not know what to do. It just make random decisions and won't improve. Mm -hmm. But if you play it against say someone that's a similar level like itself. Like if you play the AI against itself, like you get two versions and try and train it like that, it learns so much quicker. So like, basically what I mean by that is like, or how I'm going to connect it is that you need to sort of learn from similar ranks to really improve, I guess. Yeah, no, absolutely. Because I play a lot of fighting games competitively, or I used to, right. and it's the yeah. same thing. Like if you're playing Street Fighter or Marvel vs. Capcom against someone who's way better than you, they can do a combo right. that kills you in one touch. Where right. like you and, play someone who's learning. similar level, then it'll take quite a few touches, and you're not learning anything if you're just watching them zero to death you, right? It's so exactly, exactly. So I think it's a really good idea if um, anyone watching this, I guess, is uh, low ranked and they want to sort of show their perspective. Yeah, I, well, I think some people do yeah. definitely gain from it, hundred percent. I mean, because I actually, I actually remember when I was um, low ranked, I would really want to watch someone that was like maybe like say say I was champ one. I'd really want to watch like champ two gameplay to see someone that's a little bit better than me. That you know um, how they win and how they you mm -hmm. know yeah yeah. So absolutely, I think that would have been so. Yeah, it's really good that you did that. Yeah, how I actually did it was um, I kind of knew I wanted to make content. From the beginning, yeah. uh, cause I was like, this is actually, I, I, I fell in love with this game like right away, but I didn't want to make content until I was like 
one rank above the rank I was making content for. So that was kind of my plan. Like, See. I wouldn't make gold content until I'm platinum. Or I wouldn't make platinum right, content until right. I was champ one or whatever. So what I did okay. was, as I ranked up, every time I ranked up from, like, gold to plat, I wrote down notes as to, like, what I thought helped me out the most. So that when I go so back, yeah. yeah, so when I go back, it's still in the perspective of when I was a gold. But just so with, like, a brilliant. little more knowledge. Yeah, so that was, like... That yeah yeah because i think about the game so differently now and like i i probably give people tips on basically how i think about the game but then it's like do you know like how like certain moves are op in some ranks like i guess the ceiling shot should be op in like plat or gold you know oh mm -hmm. giving tips yeah no no absolutely i i've coached like lowering players by now like and and i'm just like man i i have no idea what to tell them sorry I'm just like, I have no idea what to tell them. Like, I could tell them, like, they need to hit the ball harder or they need to learn how to flick or yeah. whatever. But, like, is that really, you, you know, like... They're not, those, they're not even at the stage where they could learn positions or because they're, like, that low ranked, I guess. Right, right. like, you, you try to say, like, yo, you're doing a replay analysis for them, right? And then you see they're not rotating far post, but do you even bring it up oh, is the question, you know? Yeah, because are they ready to even... That, like, because, okay, I remember when I was, like, mechanically challenged which i mean yeah it, i'm still mechanically challenged but when everyone i was more everyone. mechanically challenged <laughs> and yeah. every time a ball flies up i could say like hey don't clear it to the enemies or you're passing it to them but is that even really good advice because they're probably not even thinking about that they're looking at the ball like yeah. i haven't hit this thing you know yeah so like i agree with, because like oh yeah i was saying about like how some moves in some ranks are like op well like you play fighting would you play any like shooting games like overwatch or... okay so like in overwatch I'm guess I so I only played a little bit, so I know a little bit about it, but um so like you know how like they nerf things and they think some things are too OP and then so it so I, I think I've heard people say like in some ranks there were like things that were really good. Some characters that were really good in certain ranks. But then when you get to like the pro level, I think XQC was saying this about Winston. He was saying like Oh yeah. How, <laughs> Winston, how Winston was sure. so bad, so bad for like weaker players because you know he would just do no damage. But then when you get into the pro level, he's pretty clutch and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um so so like basically uh like say say like in Rock League, you compare that to Rock League, like a ceiling I'm out, shot. By the way. Yeah, I just left. Um say say like a ceiling shot, um is like really OP in the lower ranks, but now when you get into the higher ranks, they sort of challenge it right away and they can defend it. So like if a, if a person's doing something what you think is wrong. Like, that might be a really good strategy for that rank, because you they know they can't clear the ball well, or... You know what I mean? So it's, like, mm. really hard to give them advice from a, you know, high-level point of view, I guess. Yeah, so, no, yeah. for sure. It's it, it's definitely tough when you try to coach a certain rank, and so that's why I, I was very glad I did that the way I did. And I, I still, like, try to coach, like, lower ranks here and there, so, like, it, a lot of my content comes from, like, when I'm coaching someone, and I see the same question asked between like say three goals, and I'm like, oh, that would be good goal uh, content, you know? Yeah, actually, yeah, that's a really good way to look at it. And also, you've got your perspective. Nice shot. Yeah. By the way, uh, dude, we must be so low in Kaz rank. I feel oh, like yeah. we're just plowing through people. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. <laughs> These guys are coming yeah. here to play like not sweaty games, and you're just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we could limit it. We could like. I, don't know. I mean, I think we are right. I'm not. I, I can't tell you what happened in the last couple of games. Uh, I'm true, really focused true. on the uh, conversation here. <laughs> yeah, same. To be honest, like, I feel like our autopilots are way stronger than, like, like these, at least this level. Yeah, like, yeah. So, yeah. For sure. I honestly go on autopilot quite a lot when I'm playing, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, I guess, like, we've But, you know, it. it might be a good thing, right? Like, you probably think less, react faster when you're on autopilot at some level, you know? Yeah, I guess. But... Oh, okay, so... I think, yeah. Oh, sorry, go oh. ahead. I was just gonna go to the no, next one. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 I'm fine for that. Uh, okay, question four. Did you ever expect it to be so difficult? Or is it difficult for you? Because editing and making videos has been way harder than I expected. Like... So, the thing is, you actually do really good edits. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> but, like, but, like, it's different. It's different with me, because my whole thing is about showing people how I did... Because I... I always thought that, okay, if I'm going to give advice, I need to show them as well how I, you know, do Road to Grand Champs. Because I, genuinely, I was so, like, caught up with the idea of people saying, but you're really bad, like, how can you, how can you give me advice, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not like, even... So I thought it was always a big idea for me, uh, um, really important for me to, 
you know, do Road to Grand Champs and stuff, which don't take much editing at all. It's so easy for me to do. Gotcha, um, yeah. But you know what? Okay, so if anyone watching this who haven't seen Knight Rider stuff, I feel like your stuff is amazing. Like, I like, I like the way you put all like the challenges on the side like that's just like an extra step that i haven't seen anyone do and it's like it's it's taught me a lot watching your channel like your oh, really? kickoff <laughs> tutorial i've seen so many i've seen musty's fairy peaks yeah. like i've seen fairy peaks like three times like the whole thing and i just don't understand some of it and right but, but you like simplified it in such a great way so if anyone here needs help with kickoffs go watch knight rider tutorial like it is the best <laughs> kickoff tutorial for sure i yeah, I, I, I just noticed that because Fairy Peak was the reason why I sort of understood kickoffs and literally mine is a, uh, a condensed version of what he taught me, basically. Right, but you also talk about like how to win when you're on the outside where like I thought like fairies and scrubs, a lot of it was like how to win when you're the fastest and when you're on the inside and I'm like, yeah, because I'm not the fastest, you know? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm never the, like, okay, I do do speed flips on kickoffs, but I'm literally mm -hmm. never the fastest. Not, okay, ne not never, but you know what I mean. Like, there's a lot of times where people are faster than me to the kickoff, but that's not what's important. Like, I don't know if you've watched any of Lefamir's uh, 1v1s at all. Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. I, I love yeah. watching Lef play 1v1s. It's, it's so he's simple really and clean. Good. Like, it's... it's yeah, it's, it's, he doesn't make mistakes, really. Oh, you left, okay. <laughs> I oh, need to remember Give that. me one second. What were we talking about before? Lefamir, right? Yes, Lefamir. Left me his kickoff. So, like, especially from him, I learned that you didn't need to really even, like, get there first, because... Like, oh yeah, he does the... It, when you brought up his front flip kickoffs, I've always wanted someone to talk about it. Because everyone's just talking about, like, fast kickoffs and stuff, and I'm like, what? how is Leftomir winning with these front flip kickoffs? So. Right, like, and, and it's, it's not fast at all, and he wins it. So it's like, that's why I try to detail out, like, how the rules of the kickoff and, like, how sort of um you can win it even if you're slower whatever it's all about positioning mm -hmm. on every kickoff um it's like the most important thing yeah 100 uh, percent uh, is it i think it's the most important thing for 1v1 especially i know in twos and threes you can lose the kickoff and it can be good you know what i mean yeah yeah um, for sure it's so beneficial but yeah especially losing to your back corner where they have 100 boosts is like super strong yeah exactly exactly yeah, possession's everything about this game, I think, I feel. Oh, okay, so the next question is, do you have any, like, nightmare edits that you remember? Like, if I were to ask you what was, like, the worst video you've made, as not, not worse as in, like, quality, but, like, worse as far as, like, difficulty, like, what would be your top three? Right. Um, was there so, any okay. like that, I guess, that comes straight to mind? Top three is hard since I don't make that many edited videos, but there was one where I literally had to, like, redo all the audio it was like a sort of tutorial sort of thing um and uh basically what happened is is that the audio had this like noise in the background and uh it was just i had to redo it. it's actually my uh biggest tutorial i guess it's um biggest mechanical it's, it's, it's the one where i was doing like the stall resets oh um, okay okay yeah yeah and i had to redo all the audio and that went wrong so i Dude, guess that's my that is rough nightmare. At a point of like lack of quality, I guess. I guess the that's actually my biggest video. It's um like free v free tips and advice and stuff like mm. that. That one is a really bad video in terms of I don't know the vocals. I didn't really edit it properly. Oh god, I missed the boost. Um, yeah. From that standpoint, that was like really bad for me. But that's probably the worst best video I've made. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> Oh man, okay, so me, I'm trying to think. Yeah. I have a couple that are just like, I can't believe how long that took. Um, yeah, I can I can imagine. I was sledging for... through the top three mechanics for each rank and how to practice them. That was basically right. like five videos in one. So that took me like three weeks to make. It was like 60 plus hours of editing and... Oh my god, oh, I can't it, imagine. It was crazy. Um, the montage well, was though, pretty tough. It? Uh, it, it did okay. I mean, it, it's still yeah. growing. It's at like 2k views right now. Um, yeah, that's good. That's really good. My older stuff. Oh, some of my older stuff I hate. Like, okay, my gold to plat tips video. That one took me a little while to make. I, I feel like it's one of my not as good videos, but it has the most views. I think it's just because of like, the, the audience base, because gold is probably the most common rank in the game. Yeah, Because that one yeah. has like 30k views by now, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. That's yeah, yeah. Huge. And, and I don't think the tips were that great. But, but then again, at the same time, I might not think it's great now, but those are the tips that Platinum In me, your perspective, that, that right? Platinum that... me wrote.
to current me, right? So I just gotta take his exactly, word on yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's completely like valid. Like, yeah, you might not like it because you don't may not agree with the stuff as, but you were in that mindset. Yeah, yeah, and that's what got and me probably, out of that rank. Right. So I gotta help a ton of people. Yeah, like, it's authentic as well. Um, yeah, I think that was the main part of it, where I was like, I, I, I gotta trust what I wrote down in the past, because yeah, yeah. what I see now, but, like, that's the whole point of my channel, what I see now is going to be different, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, completely. Uh, what a nightmare and, edit. Okay, the montage, that last 30 oh, yeah. seconds, oh, holy yeah. crap, that was, it was like 10 yeah, hours. Kind of, yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> For 30 seconds of footage. <laughs> like, uh, uh, yeah. But it's so good though. I, I Thank have, you. <laughs> it's so, so good. Uh, um, Eating. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What would you, yeah. okay. What are some tips and tricks you would give to like new YouTubers? Like people who are like trying to get into it, like. Right. Oh, so actually, actually, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I think I confused you. Um, so basically I would just start with like tutorials. Mm -hmm. Cause so the, the, the thing with me is that I thought it was important to be authentic, but it's n like in terms of like, they have to know I can do this consistently and do grow to grand channels. But honestly, like it's good to do that. But I think your main focus should be tutorials on like anything, just anything you think is important, I would say. And that's basically what you do, right? Yeah, yeah, basically like, um, so I used to do like free coaching for anyone who's like subscribed and stuff and that actually like as much as like that takes a lot of my time and I, I unfortunately yeah. can't do it as much anymore as like the community is growing. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it does help me so much because they ask great questions and I see that question asked enough times I'm like I gotta make a video on this so it's partially not to yeah. repeat myself too like I'll see like five people make the same mistake and I'm like I wish I had a video on this to just be like, okay, watch this before and it will continue, you know? Yeah, so I actually I actually was um, doing something similar with with someone that's, like, he's, he's helped my Discord out a lot. Like, he's done a lot of stuff for my Discord. So I was like, so he showed me a few replays and we watched it together on Discord and I sort of told him sort of what kind of things he could improve on. Mm -hmm. And, like, genuinely that, that, that sort of thing is like, it's really, one, it's really cool just to see someone improve because he's improving a lot. Like we started, he was diamond three, I think. And now like in a week, he got to like champ two. Oh, that's really so, good. Like, yeah. 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 So it, it actually is like, and then, and then with that, I was thinking about making a video on like misconceptions and stuff like that. Um, in like your games, mm -hmm. like, like a lot of people, like one misconception, which I, I'll, I could talk about. It's like people talking about when they're in a slump, I guess. And I, most of the time, I don't think anyone's really in a slump, if that makes sense. I. I think you should really, because I feel like a slump is an excuse, if that makes sense. Yeah, like you're like just I, studying the wrong thing as, 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 on some level, right? You just yeah, like I, I just feel like the because like, like literally, I've never said I'm in a slump. Obviously, I, I've played bad in games, but I've never thought like, damn, I'm, I can't get out of this. Mm -hmm. I always try and like reflect on what I'm doing wrong and try and improve. But I think a lot of people just hope it gets better, you know? Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. So I think the word slump is kind of like damaging in a way. It, it is, it is, because they think like, oh, I, I think especially with some people blame their slumps on like their teammates and they don't think like, how could I yeah. work around them? But that is a big thing. That is huge. I'm, I'm sure you've experienced that oh, as yeah, well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, teammates and stuff. And people always say that I wish my teammates were better and, you know, and I'm, I, I'm always thinking, reading that like... that. That's why I made my most recent video. And the funny thing is... Yeah. <laughs> this might hurt the video, but like, th those tips aren't just for dealing with bad teammates. You should play that way regardless, right? Yeah, but it's just, But at the same time, if you don't do those things, having a bad teammate hurts you 10 times more than if you had a good teammate and you don't do those tips in my latest video, right? Or like, when to challenge and stuff, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, a lot of people um, ask like, how do you fix, how do you fix, you know, playing with bad teammates? And I'm like, you just gotta not challenge when you're not supposed to, you know? And Right. And obviously there are gonna be times where like, your teammate will bump you and it actually becomes hard yeah, and exactly you know some, some things you can't avoid i guess because you don't expect it mm -hmm. um but like for the most part like you're gonna rank up if you follow good mor mor no morals follow good procedures i guess yeah good like, fundamentals and good fun yeah you're, you're gonna just rank up and you know like, sometimes you, you can't help it like some games you're just bound to lose like there is nothing you could do about whether your opponent's being better or your teammate not being as good, right? And in those games, right. you just gotta make the best out of it. Like, learn from it. 
is what you exactly. really gotta do. Like, how do you actually break a solid defense with a bad teammate, or or right. how do you and, make and like, those this, adjustments? This is, why, this is why I think once is so so important because, firstly, you just work on your mechanics, and then there are players that are so much better than you in ones that you'll find you'll just you'll just find them in rank. They're just um, oh, yeah. crazy okay. good. There are so many Smurfs in ones too. Yeah, exactly. I think it's the easiest exactly. rank to Smurf, so it happens really often. The easiest rank to Smurf, did you say? No, no sorry, the easiest uh, playlist to Smurf, because, you know, it's easy to derank it too, because you just go in an FF and you don't Right, like... oh, I see what you mean, I see what you yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, and you won't get reported. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. everyone loves it when you forfeit straight away. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you're winning, and then you forfeit, and they're like, wow, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not going to report you, do it again. <laughs> No, I I don't know, man. I I I've been, okay. I've deranked before, right? And some people get so upset about it. They're like, I don't know. It's like or by accident. No, like so. I'm I'm like deranking. Uh, so when I if I'm like in twos or something, I have like I'm playing with a buddy who's also tanking an account, and then it's like you forfeit, okay. and the enemy team gets so upset. They're like, oh, why'd you forfeit? Blah blah. blah. <laughs> it's like what? Yeah, I I don't get that. Like just then, take the dub, I, can, man. I can't see why someone would be upset. If yeah, they, they think can. their like ranks like not authentic or something. Then, yeah. Then, oh, more power. You want to earn your rank, I guess. Yeah. I I definitely was like that. Like, I I also was kind of like because I know you did yours. Did you tell me you did the solo queue, right? Your your rank. Uh, I got close. I, I went did... from I went to C three mostly solo queue and then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Was I okay? Um. Yeah. Like like that. So like your like. It's pretty legit what you've done because you've worked put in all those hours you got to see free. So I really made it a point to also do the same thing, like mm -hmm. you know, a lot of solo queue, and um, it was really important that I did it authentically as well because yeah, like I said, like it, this is pretty much a big thing from when I started, which is so stupid to think about now. But I always <laughs> wanted, I never wanted anyone to really have any doubts that, you know, you were that good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Or at the level, yeah. That, that you can get grand. I don't know. Right? I'm I'm taking the sunless route. I'm just gonna openly say I'm bad, so no one has to. Uh... <laughs> it's like if someone says I'm bad, I'm like, hey, no. What do you mean, dude? <laughs> but sunless no, is but good. I... I feel like he still keeps that mentality. But he has been playing amazing. Like he is so good now. Like like, like I played with some people who's played with him, and they talk about it. They're like, oh yeah, I played sunless the other day. He's he's fucking good now. Like what? Yeah. I got actually, balls on. Like, but he still the says like is... I'm bad, and I'm like, I mean that's that's part of his persona now, right? Like, yeah, exactly. But the thing is, what's his excuse for not being good? <laughs> like all he does is make videos. <laughs> the, but but you know what? I know his editing takes a long time. His right? edited things take so long, and like okay, so I'm in like a similar cycle, right? Where like. I'll be right. making a video one week and then I'm playing the next week. And now it's been a week since I've played because my videos take yeah, like 40 yeah. hours to edit. And that's a full-time job on top of my full-time job. You know? And also like, also the worst part is like your game time will look so huge. <laughs> you haven't played much. Cause you oh know, you're yeah, no, absolutely. Or, or like you're, you're, you're saving replays or. No, yeah. it's, it's kind of crazy. I, I, I mean, I don't think it's like crazy fast how, how long it took me to rank up, but I, I, no, I think it's really good. Yeah. I'm pretty surprised that I was, I'm like pleasantly surprised that I was able to like, get here in this time considering like half my game time is goes to yeah don't you, so. don't you yeah most people take much longer than that so so like for me right so i took around two years to get to sort of grand champ but the thing i am like a little bit annoyed about like there's a thing called v-sync on ps4 i don't know if you know about it oh yeah yeah, yeah. so i had that on the whole time when i was trying to get grand champ um oh, oh, and did grand champ. so I, I so i took me literally two years li li nearly on the dot or maybe just under two years. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, it took me like that long. And I'm kind of like sad because I feel like I could have been so much better than I am right now. You're hitting some insane shots right now, by the way. Like, what? You're hitting some insane shots right now, by the way. There's like no way they're saving these. <laughs> you're like hit something off the ceiling the shot before, and I'm just here. Oh, the three of us are just here watching. <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, yeah, four casual players. <laughs> go to like or something, you know. Um, or we could like boomer mode, one v one. Oh god, like, yeah, yeah. something like that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Speaking I mean, I mean, of the tips and tricks for new new YouTubers, before I forget. Yeah. This is a YouTube thing. Render your videos in 1440p. If you don't, are, if you're starting YouTube, render your videos in 1440p, even if they're 1080p videos, because okay. because YouTube has this codec. It's like it's AVC and that's their default codec because it saves bandwidth. But whenever there's movement, AVC uh, tears. 
so you get really bad pixelation. Whereas like if you oh. upload in 1440p, even if your video is only a 1080p video, the YouTube algorithm uh, will set it as the VP9 codec, which is way better at handling um, moving footage. And with Rocket League being such a fast game, it's gonna be moving footage. Yeah. You know. Well, that, that's that's a that's a really good tip. So I I, I um I used to do this stupid thing where I'd like because I I honestly was the dumbest person. I didn't even know my PS4 could like record and. Well, I knew I could record. I didn't know I could do Share Factory and stuff like that. So I'd literally take the video from my PS4, upload it to YouTube, download it on my laptop, and then up. Wait, no, wait, what did I do? Oh, no, I'd edit. Sorry. Um, I'd edit it on my laptop, the whole video, because I didn't know about Share Factory. Um, and it would always. And my laptop couldn't actually upload in 1080p. Because it's so weird. I don't know why. I think it's like space sort of thing. Probably, um, yeah. But yeah, I, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the the thing I didn't even know you, that that was a thing. I guess you have to have like really good like graphic cards and I don't know whatever you need memory and. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the rendering just takes forever and the upload process takes forever. And, and maybe after this, I'll show you the difference. How long between... does it take you to upload like a say ten minute video? Ooh, uh, ten minutes not bad, but it took me literally almost a full day to render and upload my forty minute. Uh, Mechanics for every oh, wow. rank tutorial. Yeah, that one took yeah. a long time. And does it, does it like get exponentially longer if it's like a longer video? Because like you said, like you said, that ten minutes didn't take that long, but it's only thirty minutes more. Uh, it, and then that took you a whole day. No, no, right. for, thir uh, it was thirty minutes more. It was a forty-minute video total. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, but I'm saying like. Um, like how long does it take you to upload like a 10 minute video as opposed to that 40 minute video? Oh, 10 minute video, it's still, well, it takes a long time for the YouTube to also process the video. I think that whole process still uh, takes okay. a couple hours if it's 1440p. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll show you some examples later of like the different codecs if you didn't already know about it. it it's it's kind of crazy. I actually didn't notice it and didn't bother me too much until I think my you first still... face cam video. Because you can definitely see it on like people's faces, right? Like when, you, when your face is pixelated, you can't even see like your expression. And I'm like, why is that happening? And I look at the, the local file and it looks perfectly fine. And then I, that's when I started I like doing research on the back end of YouTube and like why that's happening. Wait, what was that? Oh, let's just go to the next question, I guess. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how long have you been making content and how have your growth been? Like, are you happy with it or? So my growth is like so. This is part when you know, you know when you, you made the point about being it being surreal and uh, yeah yeah. Um, I can see why you think that because you literally did it in such a short space of time. Was it ten months or something? You you said a, a little year? less than I've been playing. Uh, but I, I mean I've been playing for a little over a year now, so I'm pretty sure I'm hitting the one year mark on YouTube as well. Okay okay. But still, that's that's insanely fast to get to where you've got in that time. Um, well, me, I started with a couple hundred from my Overwatch tutorials, I think. Uh, I, I started okay. at like 200 or something. Yeah, what were we talking about? I don't even remember. Oh, growth on YouTube, like surreal and... Growth on YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, happy for, you are with so like, it. for me, I didn't find it... You're really good at remembering what topic we had. I have my notes, so... <laughs> I know, but still, even then, like... <laughs> you know, but you remember further than the notes. You remember what I said. So that's cool, you listen. <laughs> um... But yeah, um, like, so growth on, growth on um, YouTube wasn't that immediate for me. Like, it's probably been for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, it wasn't that weird for me to, you know, grow. I just saw it just casually. Kept grinding it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, I, I do think that's partly because I didn't focus on tutorials as much because if it, I like the tutorial I did last month, I think mm -hmm. that's already on 5k, which is incredible for me. Whoa, like, that is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was like so surprised. So like, I feel like if I did more of that sort of thing, also there's only certain amount of tutorials you can actually make as well. Yeah. Yes. And <laughs> okay. As far as like growth per time uploaded goes, my best video is an air dribble tutorial, which I hate because I don't think people need to be learning air dribbles, right? yeah. <laughs> but I, it's like I, I, the yeah. most useful, like the most like popular tutorial I have. And I'm like, because that video right. is like at 10K and I've only uploaded for like two months now or something like that. That's, that's, yeah, that's like, that's the same as, uh, pretty much the same as what my video. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so that, yeah, that's, 
That's but I think you. What, what, what tutorial of yours is it? Oh, that's the um, double reset without. Sword. Okay, yeah. So it's like it's pretty useless stuff that you don't need to learn, right? And it's yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Why is There's this no video deep. doing well? Yeah, exactly. I feel like I knew that that video would do better than a lot of my others, just because it's uh, it's something that is actually a really cool mechanic that mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to get down as well. I can't even and... reset once properly, so I have I have not really watched it. <laughs> I saw it on your list, and I was like, I. I, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> no, but I, I got one how to like sort of. It, I kind of if you even if for that video, even if you don't know how to reset once, it will kind of let you know how to do that. I guess. Okay, I, I will check it out then. I probably I'm, I'm gonna let you know if it's good for a person who can't even reset once. I can reset <laughs> yeah, once worry. like once in a while, so it'll be a good experiment. Yeah, cause cause I, I remember for me like you know how you said the air dribbles was like. Was that 30k views? Did you say? It's uh, no, it's at 10k right now, and it's yeah, been sorry, like 10k. Months. Yeah, right. But the thing with like that, no, but air dribbles are actually really useful. To be fair, they are, like, but not for probably 90% of the people watching that video. Right, because yeah, people have already learned it, I guess. Um, well, no, not no. not because of that, because most of the community is probably in a rank where it's like not the safest thing to go for. I see, okay, okay. Yeah, like, I mean, they're probably not saving 10 boost after they're done, and they're not doing this and that, they're not like, you know? But, yeah, yeah. But it, it's fine, not, you know? Like, yeah. I, I think this game, you gotta have fun with it, and part of it is like, air dribbles and all those things, they help you express yourself, and I think that's why this game is so popular, because of that expression. Yeah, so. wait, did I score that? It looks so weird on my screen. It just How like... did I score that? Did I hit it into the other guy? Oh, okay. I, I guess we've been talking about this a lot, throughout this whole time, but I guess let's let's do a more targeted question on it. Do, do you think it's easier to make content being better at the game? Uh, yes, I would say. Okay. For me, at least. Yeah, no, I, I definitely yeah. agree, but I thought it was a point to bring up. Like, Yeah, so for me, I feel like it's better because the kind of video, especially the, the route that I wanted to take, I had to be good at the game, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, yeah, I couldn't... I Even with the mechanics, right? Like, I actually... For my double reset tutorial um without stalling i actually had to learn that and i feel like if i wasn't that good at the game i would have never sort of been able to even learn it yeah i got like no, a standpoint to sort of learn that sort of thing if that makes sense um and also like i feel like every every content creator was at least like champ at some stage and i think you're pretty good at champ you you know what you're doing even though maybe positioning may be not great Mm -hmm. or whatever um like flump sunless they were all they were all like competent if that makes sense yeah i feel like yeah i, I feel like flump and sunless uh, uh, flump seemed a little better than sunless when they started it still is i think a little bit better oh okay, okay. um yeah but oh, like for sure sunless had like a bigger growth difference i think flump at least when oh, flump yeah. started getting popular flump was already like c3gc and then Sunless was definitely not anywhere near that when he got oh, popular. Oh yeah, like so. Champion 2 maybe. Yeah, yeah. Like the thing is, he he's he's a really good editor and he makes like funny videos. Okay, oh, his editing is, is beautiful. I watch it for motivation, yeah. for sure. Oh really, yeah. I, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, think, I think that's kind of the route I... At least that's the route I took, right? I mean, you took the get good at the game route. And for me, I yeah. didn't really expect to ever get good at the game. Not that I think I am now, but it's like... I, I think I'm still in that like sunless mode where it's like I think I need to deliver. It's working. It's working though for you. Yeah, I think so, I need yeah, to I deliver think... information clearly because I don't know. I've always, I know, I've always been into like delivery of information because of like some oh, partially yeah, of like what I do for work. Uh, I, I'm I'm a former bios engineer and like we I have to like, explain things to pe to some people. Right. Like, I, see I develop yeah. tools and things people have to use. It has to be like properly documented and. I used to be like a TA in college and does a lot of expl explaining things to students and I don't know just that whole like I've always yeah. enjoyed that process of like delivery of information and communication. Yeah, so. I, that's like the most important thing about like any kind of learning like like it's it is like a, the I feel like on YouTube especially like in Rock League I always thought the tutorials were you had to be at a certain level to understand a lot of the tutorials which is why like I really try and with my tutorials go through every single step so like it doesn't really matter what rank you are i, ca I kind of try and make sure that you understand it on some level you know mm -hmm. yeah so the thing 
And uh, I think that's what's missing from a lot of people. Not saying I do it perfectly, but I try at least. At least I try and, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like you were, talking, you were talking about Squishy, like how he didn't really. I feel like he expects everyone to be like similar a level to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or at least under game at a, understand the game at a certain level, and it's definitely not uh, not the case. <laughs> no, definitely not. So how is yeah. your growth like now? What are you getting like? What are you getting in, as far as like a per like, on a monthly basis? Your subscriber count. In, in terms of new subscribers, it's actually stayed pretty much the the same as it was. Since I kind of, I, I, it's not a blow up, but like there was just one month I just got like 150 subs, and now it's pretty much stayed at that. So it's it's I, I'm happy with it to be honest. Like, yeah, like dude, how often do you look at your YouTube studio? I feel like I browse that more than Facebook now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, like I, I will check it at least once a day. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it, it's addicting. I'm just like oh, I like to see these numbers. It's probably a bad thing though, right? Because especially like you've grown so much more. Like like how many you must be getting like 200 subs a month, right? More? Uh, I think my highest was like 200 to 210. Yeah. Yeah. So like so like you're doing even better than me. It must be like <laughs> like you're probably seeing like double the subs as me a day. No, but I you're mean, you're. Getting, you have way more comments on your videos, by the way. I think your community is like maybe more active because I, 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 your Discord, like I'm on it, and I don't know. I guess mine's right. pretty active too. But a lot of people, instead yeah. of commenting on the videos, did they just DM you? Uh, yeah, a, a few times I get DMs, and then you know we. I get so stuff. many DMs, and I'm just like, oh, okay, like. But not, yeah, probably not as much as you. Yeah, um, I, I feel like I try to make myself like very approachable to my community. Cause... Yeah, I, I feel, I feel like. Do you mean when you say comments? Do you mean on YouTube or yeah, on YouTube? On... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right, like, so I instead of commenting, I feel like a lot of people like will just DM me. It's... I see, I see, I see. Because the 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 thing with like me or on my on my videos is that I kind of like I don't know how to describe. Like I feel like with, with Road to Grand Champs, it becomes more personal if that makes sense. Because have you done any of that? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I have not. No. I mean, this is my first season, so I, I needed to get it before yeah. I could do anything like that. But I see, I see, yeah. Um, so like, I feel like that makes it. It's like in a. Oh crap! Sorry. <laughs> oh if, no, I'm gonna. Oh nice. Um, when did we even get yeah, support? On? That, that, me... I'm just mind blown right now. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just I just pay attention whenever I do something stupid. <laughs> yeah, yo, absolutely, yeah. When something you do like doesn't pan out, like oh man, I just cut off Night Rider. <laughs> like that's the only time where it's like I just yeah. paid attention again. Like oh man, I just did something really bad. I I, I like whiffed the ball that I thought I was gonna concede a goal from something stupid. And, yeah, 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 yeah. You were there to save the day. Um, but yeah, like I um I feel like also I've streamed a, f a few times as well. Um, and I think people just get like more. It's more personal. Do you stream at all? Or? I only did for that game development competition, and it was like it wasn't okay. that many viewers. I think at most was like ten at a time, just like. Oh yeah, I'm the same, and I, that's like pretty standard for me. Like ten, it not really goes much higher. I think my peak was twenty five, which is like really cool for me. But it was like because I got hosted, so it's not organic. If that makes sense. Oh yeah, yeah, I feel you. Um, yeah. Do you get all uh, your friends and family to sub to you? <laughs> On YouTube? Do, do, yes, yeah, on, on, oh, oh, yeah, on YouTube they did, uh, because they found out, somehow. <laughs> my friends found out, so embarrassingly, it's like, <laughs> they typed my name into YouTube, because I was, because I actually, for some reason, I said, I shouldn't have said anything, I was like, I would only really tell people I've got a YouTube channel that I know, when I've got like 10k subs, because I feel like that means you've kind of, kind of made it somewhat. Yeah, no, enough. okay, I, I don't have that high as for sure. I, I think like once I hit like 5k, I'll feel quote quote like a YouTuber, I, I don't know. Oh, sorry. M um, maybe I'm yeah. wrong, we'll see, we'll see when we hit there, like yeah, exactly. how we feel. Yeah. Like this will be it might not feel interesting like conversation anything. to visit back on for us. Yeah, like I feel that, like that's, a, that's kind of a reason why there's like sort of YouTube is such a weird process because you never feel like, okay, to be fair, I do feel like I achieve things when mm -hmm. I get some milestones, but it goes away really quickly. It, it <laughs> does, like, especially when like you have a video that does great and then you, you make your next video and you're like, this is going to be a banger. And then it's not a banger. Nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens. And you're like, what did I do wrong? I, I know, right? Like, and then, and then you get comments where it's like, oh, this is a great video, blah, blah, blah. And I'm yeah. like, well, why are people not watching it? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm so I, I felt like that a bit like with my kickoff tutorial. Because I felt like I did 
I, I feel like it's a really good video. You for, did like, amazing on learn. that one. Yeah, I think that's probably one of my favorite videos of yours. Because I've watched a couple of your 1v1 ones and stuff. And of course, like, it's great information all around, but... It's harder to understand, like, how, how I'm winning the kickoff unless you're... Unless someone's telling you what I'm doing, right? Exactly, um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, and then that video, it hasn't done as well as I wanted it to. Uh, but it's, it's, it's not a bad thing. I know people will, once they see my channel, they'll probably, you know, click on it and... The thing is, there's so many kill tutorials, so I kind of understand. It, it, yeah. it is it is a bit saturated, but very, I'm very glad yeah. you made one. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought, that's how I felt about the air dribble tutorial too, because I was like, there's so many, but I, th I felt like they were yeah. really lacking that like that touch where it's like that like down to earth touch, because they'll just be like, oh, the setup's important, and then they don't talk about like certain things, like the speed you should roll the ball up the wall and how that kind of helps, or like the gap before you touch it. Yeah, exactly. There's like really exactly. min minor stuff that honestly, I wouldn't ever have thought of like mentioning those things either if I didn't coach people. So I I, I really have to thank like yeah. my community for that where it's like, it's like a win-win situation. Like if I coach people on my channel, you then- get, You get video ideas and- Yeah, uh, it, it's great. Cause like, you know, they'll, they'll mess up in a certain way that I never thought was like something that kind of like comes natural to you at a certain point, you know, especially yeah. like air dribbles and those kind of mechanics. And they're like, mm -hmm. why can't I do this? And I'm like, oh, it's cause you're and blah 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 and it's it's like okay great i need to write that down like <laughs> yeah I, i've seen so many people good, fail yeah. this yeah yeah i agree like it's uh it's i, I actually because i i was watching some replays with one of the people uh that dm'd me and um and like it i kind of like sort of understood not that understood because i already knew this stuff but it's like i could describe it in a way that i didn't think of if that makes sense mm -hmm. uh before so it's like really important, I think, to teach and learn from. And it's like you learn more from, or you learn how to, how you to learn why, why yeah, something. Yeah. Works. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, for sure. Like with, with anything in life, I, I've I found that to be true. Yeah, exactly. So you, you mentioned you got your masters. What, what are you studying? This is kind of off topic. Oh, of YouTube, com but... computer science. Oh, nice. Well, yeah. what, do you, what do you do then? Like, what do you work right now? No, no, not right now. Um, pretty much, I got my masters and then. Uh, Covid happened and oh, you know. <laughs> that's unfortunate. So you graduated this year. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, I so I finished my project in December. So I, I actually, actually, yeah, I'm gonna graduate this year. Um, but yeah, last year I actually finished everything. So what do you? This is so sad. <laughs> oh, we got it. We got it. <laughs> we got it. GC's oh, voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Okay. Look um, at the scuff finish as well. I know <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> do you think? Do you think people have a misconception of how good GC is? Yeah. Because I, yeah. I, I I see that a lot. Like people will be like, you know, I don't know. Like like they, I don't think anyone who's not in Grand Champ would guess that like I'm anywhere near there. You know, I think especially like people that are in like plat or or like gold. They just assume GCs are gods, like the pros, you know? Uh, yeah, I, and I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, like, a lot of people that I see are way below Grand Champ. Sometimes I'm just like, hey, that probably, he's probably Grand Champ. Just because I, I don't know, like... Yeah, 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 because, like, once you're in Grand Champ, you realize, like, how bad Grand Champ is. Like, not saying, well, like, Grand Champ's bad, but, like, like yeah. if I if I can be in Grand Champ with my mechanics, then anyone with anything better should be Grand Champ, yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, that's what I think as well. Like, I feel like it's exactly the same way, like... Um, it's not that it's not that Grand Champ's bad. Is what it's what just I'm like saying. it's not like, as crazy as people. Yeah, give it credit and you, for. you literally can get away with not being incredible. Yeah, uh, yeah. In that, it's it's literally positioning is the main thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the, the re okay. So my playstyle at the beginning, because um, I would kind of ha I had V Sync on, and I didn't know why I wasn't very fast and mechanical, but now I kind of know. <laughs> at that time, it's literally because. I was slower than everyone in my input lag and you know all that stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, so I realized that and then but basically my playstyle was built knowing that their players like Rizzo and not that they're not good mechanically it's just that they don't show. Oh yeah no I I love how Rizzo plays I love how right. Lothamir plays those are definitely the type That's of players it, yeah. I watch. Those cause... two those two were the ones that really made me think that huh I I. I can get to Grand Champ even though I'm not as good as everyone else. Yeah, I, I um, definitely feel a bit mechanically challenged, or very mechanically challenged. So, yeah. especially with flying. I don't know if you've been able to notice. I'm very poor at flying. So with me as well. Um, yeah, as I started <laughs> as a ones player as well, but even though I'm trash at ones. Uh, but as, as like a predominantly ones and twos player, it was like, yeah. 
I definitely have a more defensive, not as aerial based playstyle. I, I feel like that's how everyone starts. Yeah, um, yeah, and I haven't transitioned out of that, even though I've transitioned to maining threes now. You know, it's really weird, but it, it kind of works for me, like to just play that defensive role, like like, like no, you mentioned it, before, like it just it, it does work, just playing it does, defensively. Yeah, hundred percent. And, and like you, never, yeah, you don't need good aerials to be able to do like redirects or even like or, or to pass, right? Like you just know when to single you jump, can, know when to double exactly, jump. Exactly. Yeah, that, that's that's like so important about ranking up. It, it's, it's more just, about power shots, actually, giving good passes is what I found. Yeah, just hitting the ball hard when you can. Yeah, when um, you need to, and so so definitely like playing that like defensive and passing role like has been very uh, at least it, it, I've seen success with it without being right. Yeah, fly. exactly. So so I feel I feel like that's the uh, that's the main thing about like every single game. It's like the players that are able to balance out their playstyle to like defense. I think defense probably more. Um, if you've sort of got more of a defensive playstyle, they generally at the beginning of games will win more. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, cool. So I think this is a great place to end the podcast. Just want to say thanks so much for coming on. I know we've been yeah, like, no problem. trying to get together for a while, and hopefully we could do like a collaboration of some sort eventually. Like maybe have you on for a tutorial. If there's a topic I want, you know, high level yeah, player. Yeah, that'd be cool. To although, although I, I don't think I'm the right guy to go for like mechanics because I normally learn them off the fly. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, I, I'm yeah willing to do a lot more, and um, yeah, maybe I could get you on my channel at some point. Oh something. yeah, no, that'd be great. And hey guys, if you're watching, if you're still here, uh, be sure to check out Knight Rider's channel. I'll link some of my personal favorites that I really like from his channel down below, and as well as, well as the channel himself. So be sure to sub to Knight Rider. Yeah, thanks. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. All right, see ya.